for me, it's about the bookshop's function not being wholly um, a, 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 a about finding a particular book. I don't think it's a bookshop is a place that you wake up in the morning and you think, I want to read River of Smoke. I want, I will come into the shop and go to G. And if it's there, I buy it. And if it's not, I walk out. Because frankly, you can do that on Amazon. You can do that on Waterstones.com. Uh, what you should be coming into a bookshop is to truly enjoy a period of time in it. It's, um, it's not a stressful shopping environment. Um, I, I find the, the process of shopping with my family and clothes and all of that pretty dispiriting. And going into Sainsbury's of a week is uh, d doesn't bring me any joy. Um, it's a function. Uh, but a shopping in a bookshop is really and can be hugely fun. And it's a place that you come just to stop off for a while. How do we at Waterstones make that truly the case and, and engage with with our customers. Um, it's about clearly things that the company needs to do. We do need to make our shops more interesting and have a uh, the right selection of books in them. And I think the process that we're going through at the moment to, to do that is is an important one. Doing up lots of shops and sorting out the fabric. I, it actually isn't good enough to have some carpet of 20 years old with gaffer tape all over it and awful fluorescent lighting and all of those things. And we're sitting in a Cheltenham shop, which has been done up, and I, I think it's dramatically uh, just more beautiful. It's just a lovely place to be in, and I think one would have stretched to, to describe it as that um, a month ago. The people who really give shops personality is not the carpet or the lighting or, or the shelves. It's the people, clearly, who work in it. And we do a fantastic job um, as, as booksellers, and, and I mean, for somebody like me, I started bookselling in, in the late 80s, and bookselling was a career that was um, it was a totally honourable one. You could perfectly reasonably say, I want to be a bookseller. And people of my ilk, um, absurdly privileged and overeducated, would do that. Um, Something happened in, in the sort of mid to late 90s, and probably particularly after Smith's bought Waterstones, in which it became a retail job. Um, it just became another barely above the minimum wage. Um, and a lot of the processes that booksellers had to go through, the checklist, the compliance, and all of those things, I think sort of sucked some of the lifeblood out of what it is to be a bookseller, which is to really engage with customers, um, to talk to them, smile to them, and enjoy their company and presence within your shop. You are a host to it, as well as the process of curation, um, putting together a really stimulating bookshop for them uh, and for your customers, because obviously each of our bookshops has a either a subtly or, in, in if you take the extremes of our estate, dramatically different um, uh, book buying um, uh, communities that they're serving. So I think that placing emphasis on that and, and liberating our shops to do what they need to do to, to, to make their shops just friendly, fun, stimulating environments, and they should be. Um, I think the, the clearly I, I'm talking always in terms of our customers because I think we as a bookshop have to be totally focused on our customers. But um, happily, that will also make the job of book selling just a much more fun and stimulating and job of one. It is a virtuous circle. And I think we are doing an awful lot of that, um, certainly today, um, this week in, in Cheltenham. There, there's a sh fantastic atmosphere in our book tents. They look super. And you've got really um, energetic booksellers buzzing all over them. Uh, and a, a, an extremely happy audience um, of book buyers piling up books and, and all the chat in the tents that I've been into has been a fun, intelligent, responsive interaction between our booksellers and and Cheltenham book buyers. Uh, I've just finished HHH, um, which is a, a a really fun, good novel. I it, it's a first novel, and I think when when you first when you pick up a new novel by an author you've never heard of that is their first novel. There is a particular excitement about it. And if those first 20 pages are grab you, um, th there is an extra frisson to that. I personally just find, and if, if it had been an Ian McEwan, if it had been a Richard Ford, 
it wouldn't been a, have been quite as exciting as it as it is the fact that it's um I don't know what he is a twenty something year old Frenchman um, beautifully translated book. Um, I think I'm just about pretentious enough to now think that I want to try and read it in French, but. Um, and actually, I have to say, as a, as a physical object, because actually I started reading it on a Kindle. I'm trying to love my Kindle um, and, and find it is convenient if you're traveling and things. And I sort of started on that, and I struggled a bit. Um, and, and then I bought the book. And, and the physical book is also just, I, it's got a great cover. It's the right size. It's so everything about it is good. It's got a nice font, nice paper. And so I think. Um, that was almost a perfect book for me.